So yeah, definitely hot out there. It's going to be hot for quite a few people out there today. And that's why we have a story for you right now about senior centers and how seniors around the Ozarks are dealing with that weather. We have Color 10's Joshua Panetta live in Springfield this morning. He's at the Southside Senior Center. And Josh, they're seeing more of a need right now. Jesse, after COVID, officials tell me that they've seen a huge increase in seniors coming to the center. But luckily, they have enough supplies and space to make sure everyone feels at home. Being such a large center in Springfield growing, yes, we have probably on the average six to seven new clients a week. The Southside Senior Center on Fremont serves as a cooling center, but it also delivers meals to seniors. Tina Jacobs with the center says although they're seeing more and more people come in, they have more than enough resources to keep serving the community. One thing that the Senior Center sa says they could always have more of is volunteers to deliver the food. Alan DeWoody is one of those volunteer drivers, and he says it's not just about dropping off the food. We're checking to make sure that they're comfortable in their apartment or home, make sure they're air conditioner or they have a fan. If you would like to sign up to become a volunteer, you can head here to the Senior Center when it opens at 830. Josh, explain for us what resources the Senior Center offers when those heat advisories are in effect. Yeah, Jesse, this week the Senior Center will serve as a cooling center and it also delivers food to people's homes. I spoke with Alan DeWoody, a volunteer driver, who says it's more than just dropping off the food. Absolutely. We want to check on their well-being and, and see that they're doing okay at any age, but especially at the age of some of the folks that we deliver to. The Southside Senior Center is not only helping people beat the heat, more seniors are also signing up to have meals delivered to their homes. Tina Jacobs with the center says they see an average of six to seven people sign up a week, and each box contains about a week worth of food. And even with more people signing up, the senior center tells me they have more than enough resources and funding to continue serving the community. Now, if you would like to sign up to become a volunteer driver, you can head here to the senior center when it opens up at 830. Reporting in Springfield, I'm Joshua Pineda, Color 10 News.